Okay. Okay, welcome back everybody to Coffee and Art in the Afternoon. I'm Dee Dee. This is part two of working on our art cards here. We got disconnected. The recording stopped, so we're going to have part two. Hopefully part one saved. I haven't gone over there to check, but hopefully part one saved. We're working on some art cards. I'm doing six of them here. I've got this one done. Well, there we go. This one done. This one done. And it's a little flashed out, guys. I always fight with the light, don't I? Trying to. This one's done. Any kind, iffy. Any kind. This one's done. Yeah, cranberry juice and art in the afternoon. That's right. I did make some fresh coffee, but all right, so we got these three more to go. So yeah. Actually I almost like this one better that way. <laughs> Could go either way. Although this is the way I had it planned. Because I like the little door thing there. I'm gonna leave it this way. That's the way I had it in my head. So these are the three we got left. And then I want to varnish one and paint the back. So you can see how one is completely done. I always try to do that. I always try to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and now we're going to get a few more, three more done here. I need another baby wipe. Thanks, Vicky. Like them all. I'll have nothing right there. I'll have to kind of come across there. Then let's see. Do I want snow scene here? Kind of. Could be snow. Could be stars. Could be space. But I really want this to be sitting in the dirt. Like that's a little building right there. make this a little hut with a little window on top of the hut. You just touch a white in there to pop it away from the background. gray. Uh, I'm just working with the same colors that we've been working with all morning. A lot of blending with my finger, baby wipe, or whatever you want to blend with. Tiny brushes. Mars rover. <laughs> it could be something. It's something on a planet. I thought of it as a little hut, but I don't like all this, though. I'm going to get some of that out of there. I want to rust it up a little. Alright, let me um, get some pencil. I 
think I might almost want it to come out of that window like that. My sound must be off. I don't know how I did that. Oh, there it is. Hey, I'm still streaming. Can I call you back? All right, honey. Bye. I wonder I had my Twitter wasn't beeping and couldn't hear a lot. I had my phone sound off. I mean, like the button turned off. I must have clicked the button accidentally. Ugh. Okay, so am I missing anything in chat? Probably not. <laughs> I guess you would have put it in caps if I needed to know it, right? a little bit more splatter just a touch okay I'm gonna call that one done so we got uh, four done <laughs> probably not Derek. Yeah, probably not <laughs> Derek, uh -uh. okay well, let's do this one next because there's a little door there and I want some kind of a an arched world here. Let's see if I can kind of pencil this in. Or almost like it could be like almost like a mountain thing coming across here. Something like this. I think I'll have a little bit of a reflection here. Maybe some water will be in here. Let's see. Let's have that come down like this. Thanks, Susan B. TV. We're talking about Mark Marks. Homemade cinnamon. I don't think I've ever heard of Mark Mark cinnamon rolls. Hmm. Are y'all getting hungry? Is that what you're saying? Y'all want to come over for a grilled cheese? Oh, Mark is your husband. <laughs> okay, no wonder I never heard of those cinnamon rolls. You probably wonder if I had. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't heard of those Mark Mark cinnamon rolls. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Can 
need to dry that before I can put a little thing right there. <laughs> Good one, Terry. Good one. Okay, now I need my kind of block this watch hand out so I can put my own in there. And I think I need a little bit of a reddish planet coming through right in here. A little yellow. Okay, like that one. One more to go. Last one. Last one. Love the clock. Yeah, I do that a lot, Pat. I like the idea of time being on it on its head, if you will.
think I want a door right here. Let's go with that. Where's my paintbrush? Okay, let's see. I need another planet right here. This needs to be, that, that arch doesn't need to be there. Too many uh, conflicting elements right there. Let's do a little splatter. Too much. Okay, and I always sign these on the back because they're so little. So, all right, let me dry this and I'll show you. Well, we'll go ahead and try to finish these with some varnish and paint the back. Well, I can't paint the backs because I have to wait until the varnish dries. It's And I said this earlier, it's best not to paint the backs first black because that's flat black matte, right? And then if you go to put the varnish on the front and you accidentally get some gloss varnish on the back, then you've got a shiny spot on your black background, which you can just paint over it, of course, but it makes it more work. So I usually, when I'm just here, you know, doing my, by myself, I paint, I paint the, do all the varnishing and then go back and paint the background. So I'm not going to paint the backs right now. An archaeological dig in Egypt. There you go. All right, so, but I am going to show you. We're going to go ahead and I'll varnish them real quick. And then, y'all, if y'all want to do anything else or let me know while we're doing this cleanup. So, let's just pick up a little bit, take a sip of juice. All right, so how I varnish, let me move all this out of the way. But I did get my Inktober done. If y'all missed it, where is it? <laughs> this was the Inktober we did earlier today. There'll be a video up with this. There's my Inktober for today, day 23. Put up Santa Claus, your favorite. <laughs> um, okay, so now let me pick this up. And the varnish. <clears throat> okay, so all I do. Hopefully they're all dry. Now remember what I said about not if you've got pencil on here, not to rub, rub, rub. Because then I might have time for a color book page. Well, let me put it this way. I don't know if I'll have time to finish a color book page. But <laughs> we'll see. I will do a separate video, though. 
uh, we'll stop this one and start a new one. Okay, but let's go ahead and varnish these real quick. And I gotta find a place to put them. Let me move my little spot here. Oh, let me move my pencil. I don't want to put a varnish on top of the giveaway here. So let's move that. Move the giveaway pencils so I have a place to set them off to the side. Okay, so all I do, and again, I sign them on the back. And where's a finished one? Where did they go? Where did I put my finished ones? Here's the stack of... Oh, here they are. Let me show you a couple of really finished ones. So like this one here, you can see it's got varnish on it. And then I just paint the back like this and sign it. And this is it's just a flat black on the back. I don't varnish the backs, but that's what it looks like varnished. And see, they're nice and thick by the time you get done with so many layers. Here's some of the other ones I've got done. I'll just show a few of them here. These are my sample ones. I always try to keep a few around because I always give them away and then I don't have anything for samples. And I do want to turn some of these into paintings whenever, <laughs> whenever I have time. So there's a few. Here's one more. So yeah, I do want to turn these into paintings eventually. And by that I mean like taking the concept here and painting it out in acrylic paint paint no no collage all paint okay so let's go ahead and all I do is I put a little dollop about that much in the middle maybe just a little more maybe about the size of a quarter bubble there and I don't rub it in don't rub 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 because you'll mess up your pencil all I do is I take my finger and I roll it around and then just pull it off at all the sides like this just turn it and you can see any place you might have missed and that's it so there we go it'll dry clear it's a little milky now but it'll dry clear and flat okay so let me move my little happy mail thing here on my way Ugh. that's all I do to varnish them and again, it's a Delta Ceram Coat ex Interior Exterior Gloss Varnish. Just like that. Don't over, don't over rub it. Just put a light, nice, thick, well, put an even coat and let it sit overnight before you mail them out. And if you're doing an art journal page, if you're doing an art journal page where you're doing a full-on page, I use a sponge brush. I got some on my hand. I use a sponge brush because if you use your finger, of course, it take all day. But just doing these little art cards like this, it's just for me. It's just as quick, just to you know, roll some out on top here, like that. Thanks, Iffy. We got six of them done. I mean, done, done. So that's pretty good because a lot of times we don't finish. Although this did take two parts because it got disconnected. And I hope part one recorded. I gotta say, I hope it. <laughs> I hope it's up there. I hope part one is up there on uh, UStream because it just stopped recording, blipped, and there we were. All right, there we go. I'll take a picture of them so they're on YouTube, I mean, uh, Twitter or whatever, after a while I'm set for a little bit. All right, um, so let me get another baby wipe. Some of this off my hands. So is there any questions on the art, art cards, guys? Yeah, it's uh, Delta Gloss 
exterior interior varnish delta ceram coat and you can get it at Hobby Lobby and Michaels it's about ten dollars a jar but you can use a coupon 40 50 percent off and um, it goes a long way I mean I've, I think I've used one full bottle in all the years I've been making now this is another this is a newer one it's about halfway gone but uh, I haven't used more than say two bottles in all the years I've made the art cards because it just you don't use much okay so I think let me dry off my there we go okay so any questions or anything guys before we stop this video we are zoomed in let me zoom back out Doo -doo -doo -doo. whoops other way other way okay well I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video then thanks everybody for being here if you're watching on YouTube thanks for watching there again thanks everybody for the 10,000 subbies and I'll mention it again because by the time you see this video um, the video announcing the giveaway will be up and my blog will be ready to take comments to uh yeah for the comments for the giveaway uh, i was it was recommended some people i watched over the weekend or talked to over the weekend and saw some posts on over the weekend said it's best unless you're sponsored by somebody to do uh giveaways on youtube on your blog uh for one thing it's easier to keep track of i can keep track of comments on my blog much easier than i can on youtube so that's where we're going to have all the comments be Oh, good. <laughs> good, Bunny. They're quite fun. All right, guys, I'm going to save this video, and I will 